Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today is going to be a really really funny video. So my chain ring bolts have uh, broken off because my chain came off my chain ring. Um, and uh, so today, uh, today's video is basically how I fixed my chain ring in a couple of hours the bodge way because you know it's the the time you know what's happening right now and shops are closed you can't get parts so I've done my best to restructure it because as uh, you guys know I do work to Deliveroo and you know if my bike is down it's not good for me because I can't work so you could kind of hear in the video I'm a bit angry <laughs> all the time um, because you know I was it was a nice day I wanted to go out with my girlfriend and man I need to work in the evening and the bike's broken and I even got a lift home because somebody uh, I was trying to walk very far away from home but why didn't happen so Today will be a part one on basically how not to repair your CYC chain ring and then um, what I want to do uh, in perfect scenario is to order the right parts that now I know I should order and hopefully I can make a part two on how to fix the chain ring you know the proper way uh, obviously you can still just order a replacement from CYC but um, hopefully um, I can make a video so I, I can actually help people out and uh, yeah guys hopefully enjoy the video so this is what we're working on today so as you can see two of my chain ring bolts are gone and also if I were to spin this chain ring, it is bent in one of the places where it snapped. So the plan right now is to take this chain ring off. So first, obviously remove the crank. And then I have these M10 bolts that I've seen somebody use in a Facebook group. And the plan is to hopefully make them fit. Maybe remove this uh, common fiber uh, uh, front. I want maybe use this to Make my life easier and not have to use the not have to cut the nuts off and uh, yeah let's get started so just just remove the crank i think i'm going to remove uh, this as well just to make life easier or at least the chain tensioner so I can remove the uh, motor chain, so make this whole thing easier. So like, let's keep going. You can see so I've took everything off the, the chain guard is off I can just take off the uh, chain ring I will remove the chains and we'll have a closer look at what we can do with this situation so here's the chain ring and as you can see so the two bolts are basically stripped at least one side of them is and as you can see the whole bolt is actually bent as well so it has to be replaced um, I don't actually know if this is actually is compatible with M10 or the M8 bolts but we're gonna figure out and also I think there you go you can see it's bent oh this this bit here is bent it's in inside so going inside so let's take this apart and let's see what we can do Wish me luck. So, as you, as you can see, I have taken it apart in the most bodge way possible because of very bad design. These are, I think, glued or something, but because you cannot undo them and you need special tools. So I just drew them out. I don't care, I need this to work tonight. I need to work 
Um, so I think now the plan is because I already checked that this fits through this chain ring, but it will not fit through this one. So I need to draw this out bigger for 10 mil. And I think I will leave this out. I don't, I don't need this carbon thing. So yeah, let's do this now. So as you can see, so yeah, the spacers are all for 10 mil. This is for 10 mil, but this isn't. So I need to drill this out. That's a nice job. So guys, as you can see, I have drilled out the holes bigger, so they're now 10 millimeter in diameter. I had to quickly pop into vertical. Thankfully, it's open. I can buy stuff in there. So now we are going to put this together. Um, I will need to. I'm gonna just gonna quickly hammer this straight first because it's still bent in one of the. It's, one of these is bent, so I'm gonna quickly straighten it out. And also, I wanna quickly file off any of the. There's a, a lot of material, as you can see, like here. So I'm gonna file that off, so it's so it's good for the, for the chain going back on. So you know, let's keep hacking this and making this bodge work. So I've just finished cleaning the teeth, as you can see. I think it'll be hopefully better than it was before. And this isn't perfect, I wish I could just replace this, but I, I need this to work tonight. So, this is what it is. Um, I can't really straighten it that easily, so I think I'm gonna bolt this together and then straighten it when it's gonna be on, on the bicycle. So that I can maybe take a big tool and just slightly, you know, bend it back in shape. Just be easier because I have more leverage and I can actually see where the, where the, where the, where the spots are. So let's now bolt it together. Let's see how this is gonna look. So as you can see, the bolts are in. I think this should be fine. Uh, the spacing should be fine for the because I'm not using the carbon for, uh, cover. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go get my crossbow wrench and I'm use, I'll have the toolbox here as well. And I will use some Loctite to make this hole together, you know, the bolts and nuts. I mean, I'm doing this so, such a bodge, I don't even have any washers because I can't get hold of anything. Because, you know, shops are closed and stuff. And like an example, well, if you wanna go to a um, Wix, which is a building shop, you have to uh, order between 7 a.m. 3 p.m. and probably collect it next day because that's when they're ready to be collected. So it's yeah, crazy times. So I've got my tools ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a generous amount of this. So this is a thread locker instead of a this is a proper. It's more it's more like glue rather than um, thread, uh, rather than the blue Loctite. This which is why this is that's Loctite and this is thread locker. That's the same company, but yeah, they did different products. So let's put a generous amount. Let's wait for that to go around. Okay, so now let's put the nut in. And now we can tighten it up. Help if a ratchet is the right way around. That should work now. Yeah. So we'll just do it just that tight. So we can do the other nuts as well. So the same procedure. I call this the green gold because this is saving my ass <laughs> from having to wait for a month for a new chain ring from Hong Kong. Nothing against CSC, it's just 
can't wait. So here you go, so this is the improved chain ring for a COSC. So the idea now is to wait for this to dry to cure a little bit and then I can cut this off with a hacksaw and then we can put it back on and it should potentially work. Um, yeah, and then we can bend this chain ring back as you can see. You can slightly see on the right side it is bent a little bit out, up, looking that way. There you go, you can see it here. But I think it's straightened now because obviously, yeah, I think it's already much better because it's just held in so tight. So let's wait for that and then we will cut it off and then, yeah, keep going. So as you can see, I have cut one of the bolts already off. I was kind of thinking of how was the best way to do this. This, I kind of figured out this would be the easiest way to hacksaw, you know, the bolt off. So what I did, I've screwed it in the other way around, the chain ring. And yeah, I'm just going to sort of hold it and I cut it because I believe this is, this should be stainless steel bolt. So it's, you know, it's quite hard to cut it, it takes some time. So the more leverage you can get, the better. So as you can hear, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I will cut the other bolt and then we will keep moving forwards. I've cut all the bolts to length, filed it off a little bit, made it sort of pretty. And so here comes the anything to do with DIY and I'm always get angry because nothing ever works so basically these these uh, nuts they're too long so it touches on this side here as you can see so new plan so I already done one bolt I'm gonna put them the other way around so it's uh, easier to uh, file it down and it's also a little bit thinner as you can see the nut it's just enough so it's easy to find out and this is just pain in the ass now and this is why I just I, I don't like the DIY I just want this I just want this to be working I want to write this I don't want to be working on this for hours wasting my time wasting you know the nice sunny weather outside and yeah well just like with this now fixing it so all right so let's flip the bolt around and then file it down and hopefully this works believe how strong this is I'm struggling to take to take this apart it's only been actually I'm lying it's only been like 10 minutes you can see uh, what it does As you can see, this is very difficult to take off of the thread locker because it is almost like glue. You can... Yeah, you can see it. As you can see, the white stuff. It just makes it almost impossible to take off. It's crazy. As you can see, I have flipped over the bolts. So now I'm gonna start filing them. Hopefully it won't be much material that I need to file off. Hopefully. So wish me luck. Yeah, I filed it off a little bit. It's still slightly touching. As you can 
let's see so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to go get my circular sand and just put them off more and hopefully in a few minutes this will be ready to go on two hours later so guys so this is where i have stopped um so basically this is just being a big pet in ass right now um I can't get these uh, bolts shorter because I think they're standing still, so it's very hard to file them down. I have filed this down with the machine. Uh, it still touches a little bit, but at this point, I don't care. I can either spend hours, you know, getting it perfect, or I can go for a ride right now and just charge my battery more often. You know, it, um, yeah, I'm just getting tired now because I don't have the right tools. I won't have the right tools anytime soon, so I just want to get this put back on. Um, it's not too bad actually, it's just slight touching. So, as you can see, you can hear it, but it's only one way, which is interesting. The other way, it's touching a little bit. So, you know, it was better than before, much, much better. Before it was like hard to spin. So, yeah, we just leave it at that, put it together. And actually, I keep checking the chain ring, it looks actually very straight just because of the bolts. And yeah, let's put this together. Let's see what it looks like. A few moments later. So here we go, the finished product. This is, this is what we have now. So I have the big bolts in. Um, obviously we'll be touching a little bit over there, but it is what it is. We can actually check. Uh, let's check how bad is the chain ring, if it's bent at all or not. So actually it doesn't look too bad. If you look at it from here, you can see how bad it is. It does move a lot, but it's not too, too bad. So to finish off the video, so sort of my final thoughts. So here's the finished product. Uh, it's actually been about, I believe a week. And I've, I don't know how many miles the kilometers I've done, but it's been a lot. I think I've ridden like every single day for seven days. Um, so let's say, let's run it like, let's say it's like 300 kilometers maybe. I don't know, but it seems to be working really well. Um, uh, actually it's funny, the, the bolts, when I screwed the bolts together, it actually made the chain ring straight. So that's cool. Um, would I do it again? No. Uh, it was a pain in the ass. It took way too long to do this. Um, if you really want to do this, my recommendation is get a um, countersunk Allen bolt, 10 mil, or something that's thinner than the normal, you know, the hex nut bolts. So you don't have to cut it or whatever to make it shorter. So it will actually fit. Um, so you can do, do that, but you still have to drill 10 mil holes into this front chaining as well. So it's up to you. You can just go to CYC. The CYC has actually admitted their fault. Like they, they basically said, that, yeah, we understand that these uh, bolts are too, that these bolts are not strong enough because they're aluminium. So the only thing is if you buy the uh, stainless steel bolts from CYC, you will also lose the front carbon chaining cover. So yeah, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I actually uh, switched from a, I believe, seven speed to eight speed cassette. And this also meant I had to change it. Uh, I had to actually change my chain. And because I've changed the chain, you know, the actual, the spacing changes. Actually what it did, it actually improved my drivetrain because there's now less play. Uh, the chain really fits really nicely on the chain ring. So that's a bonus. So something I didn't know about. Um, Learn something every day. So I would recommend you, if you can, use a 8-speed chain or higher. And uh, yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.